The purpose for the self-contained air supply on the SCAPAC AT respirator is to provide breathable air during escape from objectionable, oxygen deficient, and or unbreathable atmospheres. Before initiating any activity which requires the use of the SCAPAC AT respirator, determine both the normal exit route and one or more emergency escape routes to an area with a safe, breathable atmosphere. During normal exit, the respirator will be supplied with air through the air supply hose from the air supply system. Emergency exit routes shall be such that they can be traveled using the self-contained air supply. Determine the amount of air supply hose required for the job and ensure that it is less than or equal to the maximum allowable length of that type of hose. Be certain that the air supply system is providing safe, respirable breathing air and is compatible with the air supply hose. Be certain that personnel who are knowledgeable in the operation of the air supply system are present to monitor and maintain the supply pressure at the point of attachment of the air supply hoses to the air supply systems. Verify that the air supply cylinder gauge is reading full. If the gauge is reading less than full, replace the air supply cylinder with one that is full. Now we will don the SCAPAC AT. Harnesses are configured standard to place the air supply cylinder on the left hip. Grasp the shoulder strap such that the face piece is toward the front of the wearer and the air supply cylinder is next to the left foot. Pass the shoulder strap over the left shoulder and head onto the right shoulder. Draw the waist belt around the waist with the air supply cylinder at the left hip. Insert the male connector into the female connector until engaged as evidenced by a click. Test for positive engagement by pulling on the buckle. Remember, the harness must always be worn so that the shoulder strap and waist belt connection buckles lay flat against the wearer without twists or wrapping under the waist belt. Adjust the waist belt. Tighten or loosen the waist belt by sliding the waist belt tri-slide buckle. Adjust the shoulder strap tri-slide buckle so that it remains in place on the right shoulder and holds the waist belt at waist level. Position the required length of air supply hose and prepare it for use by connecting the segments to each other and to the air supply system. Adjust the pressure at the air supply system to the operating pressure of the respirator. Repeat this step for each air supply hose and each air supply system to be used. Adjust all head straps to the full outward position. On respirators equipped with a neck strap, place the neck strap around the neck. Check to be certain that the hand coupling between the cylinder valve and the pressure reducer is tight and that the breathing regulator purge valve, the red knob on the regulator, is closed or turned fully clockwise. Depress the air saver donning switch and release. Connect the supply hose to the airline connection hose on the respirator. There will be no flow of air from the face piece at this time. Congratulations, you are now in standby condition with the respirator donned and in place, however not in use.